dealing with a 2004 BMW 530. Um, we've got trouble code for mass airflow. Um, like incorrect flow. I'll have to get you a shot of it. Um, it's unplugged and it's made no difference. Vehicle feels like it's choking. It's just sluggish when driving. So my idea is to check for a cat, see if they're clogged. And there's two separate cats. There's bank two and bank one. So I've got cylinder one spark plug removed, cylinder four. Uh, it's going to check each bank's cat. And I'm going to do this through the spark plug hole with in cylinder pressure measurement to see if there is a spike in um, back pressure. One thing I wanted to do is show you guys the uh, difference between cranking and running uh, as far as the pressures go to show you guys what is the best way to test. Alright, so first we will check during cranking. Alright, so let's take a look at our pressures and where we are interested in for looking for exhaust back pressure. It's going to be down here on the bottom during the exhaust stroke measurement portion. Uh, right away, even from this view, I can tell uh, one of the banks is already raising its pressure. And that is the blue one. Let's get a closer look. Blue is bank one. Red obviously is going to be bank two, but you can already tell there is an uprise in exhaust pressure there. Uh, so this must really be um, clogged. Look at that. Uh, you normally would, I normally suggest and would say best time to look for clog cat is when the engine is trying to move air. When you're trying to accelerate, it's trying to ingest a lot and expel that and if it can't you'll see it uh, really climb up here in the exhaust uh, because the in ingested air cannot move and it just uh, shoots up the pressure in the cylinder during the exhaust stroke when the exhaust valve opens clearly on this one I don't think we even need to go to that extent but we can just to get measurements and for this cranking measurement, let's, out of curiosity, uh, it's still not that much. It's just under 1 PSI, so it might look like it's rising, and it clearly is. We're measuring it, but uh, it didn't shoot up past 1 PSI. Still shouldn't look that way, but um, let's go ahead and then... Um, crank it over and get it idling. All right. Alright, so let's quickly take a look. Let's look at idle before we decided to attempt to move air. So again, blue is climbing, so it is verifying the fact that we do have a claw cat, and that is most likely what's causing our issue. So right there we are at 3 PSI. That's just at idle, where it's not really trying to move a ton of air. Um, like when we notice during acceleration. If we do that now, check a measurement during uh, during uh, attempts of air movement. We kind of average it out. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. So 
20 psi of back pressure built up in the cylinder because it cannot move the air it just ingested. Um, out of curiosity, let's look at bank one. Okay, bank one, it's got a little bit of a build up, 6 psi. Looks like that one's not doing that great either. So just quick shots and verifying with measurements of a clogged uh, catalytic converter on vehicles an easy way just by removing the spark plug. Alright guys, so that was it. Quick measurements again like I told you and just wanted to let you know there is no amount of parts that is going to take care of this issue. You could throw as many mass airflow sensors, air filters, whatever you want, but it's not going to take care of the trouble code first and foremost as most will naturally try to sell you as mass airflow. Um, but it's because it's measuring the fact that it can't move the air. If it can't get it out, it's not even going to be able to get it in. So then it's going to throw the trouble code for um, basically low uh, mass movement of the air. The other thing is remember there's two cats. Test both banks. If not, you will um, assume one could be good and forget to check the second bank. So... Make sure you do all that and not get involved with throwing parts at it when it's not needed.